Ooh, what is up, you guys? And of course, welcome to another battle of, of course, the Lithio battle region. And, and this time against Hanna Panna, our good friend, in, and her grass team. And I'll say like this, due to my team build, uh, as you guys can not see, obviously, because I'm not showcasing it, this is the team I have, this is the team I'm facing. This, 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 this. Yeah, solid. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that there are very few mods I actually could bring against a trainer such as her with, of course, grass in mind. So my own septile is out of the question. Uh, Rotom wash, like, good shit. And um, I was basically debating what could be my best mod to use here. And seeing her team, I think I made the right choice. Uh, I think both Rotom wash and septile would have been wasting this kind of matchup. Now, with that said... I have a mega late on my team with Trantor, Ditto, Stealth, Linux, Sigdril, and Sept Super Sumeril. I was really, really scared whether or not to bring Mega Septile or if she actually brought Mega Venusaur. If she brought Mega Venusaur, then my Sumeril would be way, oh, pretty much way too for this matchup. But now it looks good. It looks really good. There are very few mods that can hit her hard. And yeah, I am basically going to go on Guns Blazing. I do believe here. And my Excadrill is banned for this matchup, and I have uh, Seal Scarf on Stockland, and I think that's leftovers on, uh, of course, that uh, Assume Reel, and I think Focus Sash and Trantor, stuff like that. I don't really pay that attention, but yeah, that's the team, and I had no idea, you know, what would she bring, what would you do against me from the get go, so I decided that basically lead up with uh, what I would consider the safest mob for this matchup. And uh, that is going to be actually delayed, and I can say it right now, freaking fairy. Obviously, I can't stay in. I have to switch out, and I have no mod of necessarily resist this kind of damage. Uh, Moonblast at least wouldn't do too much use to palm. So we're gonna bring him, and um, yeah, I mean, sure, she does damage, but we do soak that back. Uh, pre pretty sure I should have gone assault visit her, but I actually decided to have toxic in my team. Now, fearing that she wouldn't stay in here, I actually decided to switch out back to Kaysher. Or, not back to Kaysher, switch into Kaysher. Uh, but she keeps going. Uh, I was really sure she would switch out, yeah, switch out. But she stays in, and I'm just gonna go for an earthquake very quickly. Being that she has Veraform, there is pretty much too scary for me if I should do something else. She actually decided to go for a U turn here. Could it risk me my potentially being starved and actually knock it out straight away? But she doesn't do that. Obviously, with Tyranitar, she felt safe to just use so. So, yeah, Earthquake. So, Ferrothorn gets a mighty chunk of damage on him. And I say mighty because that's easily a 2 hit KO, which is nice. Uh, I'm just gonna keep going. Even if Septile comes in, I kinda feel that at least I'll do damage, at least I'll do a mighty chunk. Since it isn't evolved yet, it's so much fragile, and as you guys can see, that's fragile. Like, that's a resisted hit, and I, I yeah, not, not so much, right? So, I gotta go to my Sumeril, fearing that Leaf Storm's gonna come. Or you get rain, or anything really. But uh, not only will she make a ball, which um, obviously, right? Uh, she'll actually bring Earthquake here for this matchup, and that's actually not too bad. Because that does. Oh, joining, perfect. Uh, that does hurt me. Uh, it not, doesn't do too much, but at least, you know, there is a significant damage from there. Uh, and the thing is, I actually wanted to use Ditto for this matchup, I actually wanted to snag her Sceptile. But my biggest issue is here that Whimsicott is healthy. And there is really nothing to do about that. I do think, yeah, I went directly for Ice Beam, thinking she would attack me. As you guys can see, that's nope. That doesn't really do a whole lot of damage, and that is bad. That is really bad. I was really hoping for something. I could have gone for Skull, but I didn't really want to risk it. So I'm going to go for Rex here. Basically, my idea here is to at least set up the sand in motion, and then ensure that something can outspeed. So it doesn't necessarily gonna fear the, what do you call him? The where's he got? Focus session that one. How about that? So anyway, I go for flamethrower here, which is nice. Um, kind of overkill thinking about it, but it was my safest hit really, and there is not a whole lot of monster coming on it safely. So she'll bring Septile here. I was feeling all right. I can bring Stoutland. She's going for Earthquake, knowing that Assumer is going to come in, and she goes for Focus Blast. But I am so extremely lucky. I'm joining again! Haha, <laughs> I can't re record this guy. Anyway, uh, she missed the focus blast, that's huge. Uh, I'm just gonna go for return and knock her out. Like I said, her, um, I am still scuffed, so I gotta fake my band basically. She's gonna bring Cradley, 
Knowing that superpower doesn't necessarily gonna kill this thing, and it'll put much in a much much worse position, I'm just gonna switch out to preserving at least some kind of uh, health. As she goes to curse, I was like, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 oh no, 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 no. That that's not gonna work. That is not okay. Lucky for her, the assassin should side. Unlucky for me, and the assassin should side too, obviously. But I'm just gonna go for an iron head, and here is a little colo, and I was like, oh. Yeah. Of course, forgot about you. And that Iron Head does so much damage, it's not even funny. Uh, but yeah, Earthquake would have been too kill at that range, actually. So I'm just gonna bring, oh yeah! And snag a little Colo, basically, because I was thinking here that, you know what? She can touch me, I can touch her, uh, but at least I should win the matchup, right? Sounds fair. And I saw, oh, she has Ice Beam, that's perfect, that's really all I need since it's Life Bulb. I was thinking that she's probably modest, I can probably kill her with this Ice Beam. She is not modest. <laughs> and she's gonna retaliate if we can get rain. And it does so much damage, I'm like, what the hell just happened? And she's basically back on track, and another Yager will kill me. So I was like, ah oh, shit, I gotta give this one up. Don't I? God freaking damn it. So I'm just gonna reduce the form. Fearing another Yager rain. But she goes for Ice Beam. Now, luckily for me, I, due to me tra transforming to her, I know this set is completely walled by Asumril. Because she had Rain Dance, Ice Beam, Hydro Pump, and Chicken Drain. So, I I'm actually kind of fine at this kind of environment. So, I was thinking, alright, I can probably go with something like this. Instead of go for a sub here, I actually wanted to kind of stall her out. But she does a better play here. And um, behind a substitute, she can't necessarily touch me. Or at least so I thought. And uh, so I'm just gonna go for toxic here. And Joe, I guess, what is wrong with me? I should not record when I've been just coming off work. I'm, I'm really sorry, guys. So, anyway, um, she goes to Sonja, like, oh, okay. And she just landed, and I wondered for a while there how the hell did she break the sub? I mean, I am a bulk Asomaril. That is not supposed to happen. But anyway, I have no real reason of any actually stayed in for this matchup. Uh, I've seen Tur Curse. Turks. <laughs> I've seen Curse, I've seen Stone Edge. Having that in mind, Rage's R could actually be a very, very good switch in for this kind of environment. But she likes to switch out to her Whimsicott. And the thing is here, I was feeling that I can't bring Extrillion. I simply can't. So I am kind of risking it, and actually Mega Evolve would of course go lead. But at the same time, I really have to take this risk. So I decided, let's go for Ice Punch, that should kill her. She stays in both to Moonblast, which is unfortunate because it does so much damage, like so much. But unlucky for me though, I am not able to kill her. And I mean, that is some bad shit because if she has offensive set, I actually have an 89% chance of killing her. So that was unfortunate, not gonna lie. So I decided to actually kill her with Sandstorm instead, was thinking I was kinda of bit smarter, kinda, kinda better. But uh, yeah, the Moonblast would put Dawn on here, and it actually does a good chunk anyway. Oh, why can't I say it is four times I'm going here? <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna kick Wimps got out of the way, and now we get to the end game. So Lord of Color is gonna come in, fearing that she's probably gonna go for Rain Dance here. I should decide to go for a Thunder Wave, and you know, that's fine, right? You know, that, that's not a bad call, That that's how you do it. But then, then I go completely dumb and go for flamethrower, thinking I do neutral damage, I should kick, kick her out, barely, but I should kick her out. But of course on rain, this is not going to do anything. And I was like, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, dear lord. It, she does miss the higher pump though, so you know, I do a mistake and I am lucky to survive it. Uh, and then I'm going to snag the, oh yeah, I was thinking, alright, let's sweep her with her own Lodicolo, you know, this is, this is what we're made for. You set the rain in motion, I sweep. That that's that's the deal, and she gets fully paralyzed. So that that's okay, right? I can lock myself into ice beam, I don't necessarily have to fear anything. And then I remember she still has Breloom, right? Yeah, Breloom and Cradle Leads are like, oh don't do this, Hannah. Don't do this. No! No! No Mac Punch! No! Sucker! <laughs> no! So I should probably switch out there just sacked uh, Tyranitar really, but you know, it is what it is, I'm bringing of course Tyranitar this time, and uh, seeing that Magpunch is her only way to set things in motion, I actually decided to, uh, I think I decided to sack 
him here basically because I kinda can't switch out. Uh, no, I actually do. Oh, that, that is ballsy. That is ballsy, Chris. So it goes to use the pump. Why did I do that? Alright, never mind. Um, obviously, though, I can't really do too much of Fatally, but that falls on her too. Uh, but at the same time, she can start cursing up, and I kinda know that um, her moveset has to be recovery and stealth rocks. That's the only set I've seen. So knowing that, I think I switch or feeling safe like I'm gonna switch out to, of course, the mighty, mighty Chaser, or of course, Excadrill. And basically lock myself into Iron Head. She'll go for a curse. It's really not gonna matter because I'm still an adamant Excadrill, and that is not something you can touch. And, um, yeah. At this point, I was kinda debating, you know, what do I do about the Breloom? It should be Fogo Sash, right? There, there are things in motion here I can't uh, I can't withdraw with. But then I like checked my rolls and I was like, alright, Stalker can actually take a hit if it comes down to it. Use the Pong can take a hit if it comes down to it. Uh, and of course, the Gallade can take a hit if it comes down to it with, of course, Mag Punch. Though, uh, with the Gallade, it's kind of more of a 40 60 situation, it's not as safe. But luckily for me, though, um, we break the sash if you voice it, which is kind of what we wanted to with the sand in mind. And Stoutland, like I said, is able to take a mag punch. Luckily, she doesn't get a crit here because it still does a lot of damage, but it's not a killing hit. But return, of course, with Silscoff will. So, GG Hannah, that was like a really, really fun game. And obviously, a lot of hacks in my favor here. I do believe she has two or three misses, and that that is simply insane. Combine it with a fully paralyzation. Now, going down to it, like, what should I have done? I should probably stay safe against the Sceptile and bring use the poem again. Had she landed a Focus Blast, she probably would have won the game, actually, because I got so obsessed with, of course, my Ditto getting to become a Ludicolo, because Ludicolo is awesome, right? So I can't really help myself. Uh, I should definitely switch out Sacked, of course, Rantar, then bring, of course, Ditto back again. Lock myself in the mag, but which I've been a superior choice. But you know, it is what it is. Luckily, we do come out on top, but we barely did that. And I definitely did see this. this. This is definitely one of those games where I think Hannah was the better player. And I'm just lucky to not get knocked out there. Doing for fifth time. Perfect. <laughs> so, anyway, guys, um, there's going to be a more of these kind of uploads. Like I said before, um, I'm a bit of a short time, which means I'm doing this a bit more lazy. Hopefully you enjoy them anyway. Uh, I'm gonna get back to the more quality-based battles, but as it stands right now, this is the best I can do for the moment. But I hope you guys enjoyed this game. I hope Hannah enjoyed this game, because I, I, I sure as hell had fun here. Loaded Colo situation, perfect. Love Loaded Colo. Uh, so with all that said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.